You're like a brother to me. I wish I had someone like you. You remind me of my dad. You're like a brother to me. You're such a good friend. You're such a good friend. You're such a good friend. You remind me of my dad. I wish I had someone like you. You're like a brother to me. You remind me of my dad. You're such a good friend. Hi, my name is Matthew, and I'm in the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> Something to say Ooh, I know that you want me And I want you too So please let me tell you What I want to do Friends are to me I, I had a weird way to put it It's not really anything serious But it's like when you You get a meal from KFC So you ordered a zinger box But you really got a three piece box you're not unhappy with the result, you still got a friend out of it, but you wanted something more from the, what you originally ordered. I can't really think of any specific sign, but there's just, you can just tell. Somewhere in you, you can just feel that you are not gonna get any further and it's just gonna be a friendship. Like words like bud, champ, friend, brother, you're like a brother to me, that one hurts. All that sort of stuff is all the really, uh, Good, the factors that come into being friend zone. First time I got friend zone would have been uh, back in kindergarten, really. I was um, really into this girl for like my whole primary school year, and she kind of went back and forth, being like, Ooh, I like you, ooh, I don't, for basically all the way till year six. So it was uh, shout out to Brooke. You know, you know who you are. I dated her again in year seven for literally, I think it was 14 hours that I got to date her, and then she came up to me and said she liked another guy, which just uh, that hurt. I remember I got friend zone by Maddie. I remember the exact place, the exact what we were doing, we were going to get lunch, we're driving past my old primary school and she goes, she was talking about some other guy and she's like, yeah, honestly, it's like you, it's just like, you're like a brother to me. And I was like, all right, well, that one hurt. That was all, uh, that was, that hurt, but, you know, got over it. I went to that, obviously, expecting more and at the end of the day, all I got from it was one of the best friendships I've ever had and I really don't regret getting friends on whatsoever. I'm really quite happy with the turnout. Oh, I got friends on today. Oh, I didn't, you know, it's not really something you can sit at home and count, but the amount of times I got friend zoned is, uh, it's in the tens at least, at least. Yes, I am unbelievably scared of getting shut down still, but you can't really let that affect you as often as you can. From personal experiences, yes, it is possible to get out of the friend zone. There are definitely situations where getting out of the friend zone has occurred, but I've always ended up back in the friend zone after brief stint, stunt stints, however you say that word. Like Penny and Lennon from Big Bang Theory, except for the fact that they got back, they got together, but ignore that. Don't chase someone for your whole life and wait, because sometimes it doesn't turn out. Sometimes there is no penny in Lennon and you just get nothing. In regards of me trying to get out of the friend zone with a girl, I'm going to be going into it with more low expectations than high expectations, and I'm gonna try and, I'm not gonna push it. I'm gonna do what the action plan says, I'm gonna try, but I'm not gonna make her uncomfortable just to get a film out of it, you know? So, as I said before, don't try and push it if you're trying to get out of the friend zone. I'm going to attempt to show people how to get out of the friend zone the correct way. Now we're in Hyde Park, I'm the friend zone -y. now let's talk to some friend zoners. Friend zone to you. Um. Um. Ooh. Um. Um. It's where you don't get a missus. It's quiet. Yeah. It's when you're kind of not interested in a guy, and you, I guess, see value him as a person, but you're not interested romantically. That's when nice. he doesn't have my number saved, <laughs> and we've been together for like two and a half years, <laughs> and it's still not saved. You should probably get on that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Have any of you been friend zoned? Have you ever friend zoned someone? Yes. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Only because like I dated all his friends. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um actually yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I dated all his friends but him in school. Yes. Yes. So we were in school together. Yep. And I dated all his friends but him. Um, I did it in a very nice way, not too harsh, not yep. too, you know, just, yeah. And I rejected him twice. Yep. And I said, hey man, look, you're a nice guy and all, but I can't 
be with you because first of all, I don't know you. He was a lovely, sweet guy. He was great with kids and all that sort of stuff, but I just didn't see him in that romantic light. Like they were really nice, but just like not my type. Yeah, I didn't really see them as more than yeah. friends. One word to describe the friends. Hmm. Embarrassing. Hmm. And one word. One word. Rejected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shit. Sure. Yeah. Shit. No. Oh, yeah, shit. Matthew, Joshua, how are you? Ah, nervous. Why? Got a piece of paper and a laptop there. What I am do. I doing? It's about time that you get some advice from friends, family, maybe a celebrity. Here are your notes. Thanks, sir. And press play when you're ready. Good luck. Cool. <clears throat> Matt has been able to get out of the friend zone once or three times, if you want to count all three times. Uh, that we dated. I reckon you have to set the standard from the get-go. Like, I don't know, if you're like too nice and stuff, like you're too kind of like friendly and you go shopping with them, like that's probably not gonna lead you where you wanna go. Look, what you need to do is you need to find the confidence to just go for whatever the fuck you want and avoid that emotional attachment that you get. And he doesn't know when to, you know, close and he's gotta be more upfront about his intentions with the lady you know just you know you want to have a fucking you want to have a go that's all you need to say that's all you need to say <laughs> i think it would be possible to escape the friend zone if he just Thanks stopped being so nice to all the girls because we all know to keep them keen treat them mean that's what he needs to do. Stop being such a nice bloke. I know this is for a um, guy named Matt. I feel like Matt's just such a little boy's name. Um, wow. Anyway, so I will start off by answering. Is it possible to escape the friend zone? No. You know what I mean? So there's no tips. Like, you're in it. Like, what are you doing dating-wise? Like, why do you need, like, a whole documentary on um, avoiding the friend zone? Clearly not doing anything. Do you know what you need? Instead of trying to avoid the friend zone, you need help on how to just get women. So, I got quite a lot of advice just then. Um, a lot of what I got was mostly just be a little bit less nice, a little bit less of a pushover, going to do everything that they say, going shopping. It was tease one, and it's just be myself, flirt, and try to do what I can. So when I go meet up with said girl for um, a date to try and get out of it, I'm just going to try and be a little funner, be less of a pushover, I guess, uh, do what I can. According to Erin, I need to change my name, so I should probably go try and get that done early before uh, the date and go from there. Joshua? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, man. How are you? I'm not too bad. Um, you know why I was called? Uh, yeah. Date update. Uh, okay, well, since we finished filming, you have been preparing for this, um, yes. this date. Yep, yep. We've been ready. You, we, you got some advice from your friends and family, so you need yep. to prepare. How did you prepare for the date that you just came back Man, from? I just read over the action plan, I got a haircut, and I rolled with it. Did you just come back from your date? Oh, uh, it was about an hour ago now. Um, I yeah. Okay. Well, fill us in. Where did you go? What happened? What did you do? You know, it was a classic dinner yeah. or a movie. Sure, obviously, once upon a time in Hollywood. Why not? Where did you go for dinner? Man, cranes. Expensive. Ridiculous. Did you kiss her? What happened? Well, as I said, we we're in the movie. A little cuddly. It was cute. Holding hands. Doing the, doing the classic stuff, you know? Not doing the yawn over the arm things. That's overused, but you know. Okay. Doing my best. And um, you know, we drove her. I drove her home. We just chilled out in the car a bit. We chatted. Matt, the question we've all been waiting for get out. Well, as I said, it was all cuddly, it was cute, built some stuff going, and we got Here to the end go. of the day, and yeah. she hugged me. Nothing.
Nothing. Not out of the friend zone. Okay. Nothing. Alright. You can't escape it. Like, once I start thinking about it, I'm like, no, you're stuck there forever. Like, forever. Doesn't matter if you, even if you're drunk, sober. If we friend zone you, like, you are in there for life. Wait, what? You're in the friend zone now. It's from Neverland. You are. You think she's so lovely. You want her so bad. But now she says you're like the brother she never had. You're in the friend zone now. Sorry, but there's no way out. You thought she was flirting. Friend zone.